Guam could join 27 other states that have some form of a castle doctrine. The measure was passed by lawmakers by a vote of 10 to 5 over the weekend. Speaker Judy Wanpad, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz, and Senators Ben Pangilinan, Dennis Rodriguez Jr., and Michael Sinicholas voted against the measure. This just allows Guam citizens to be able to protect themselves. That, that's ultimately what it is. National Rifle Association instructor Darren Alvarez says should the bill be enacted into law, island residents will have the right to protect themselves, their homes, and their businesses. Prior to passage of the measure, if someone was breaking down the door and trying to get into a home, the resident could not make the presumption that they were there to harm them. The Castle Doctrine will change that. That's one of the biggest things, that it, the assumption is now if someone's breaking through your house, you can assume they're there to do you harm. The second thing is if someone has a, a self-defense shoot, up until the Castle Law was passed, it's standard operating procedure for the police to arrest everybody. The Castle Doctrine would not require an immediate arrest. And the third thing is, if you have a self-defense shoot and you harm or kill somebody, in the States and the way it was in Guam, you could get sued for that. You were liable because you hurt that person and their family could sue you because they could no longer commit crime and bring money into their home and you could get sued and you would lose. With the bill, the AG's office and law enforcement would make the determination if a homeowner was truly in fear for their life and if they had no other choice but to shoot the intruder. Alvarez says he doesn't believe that passage of the measure will result in an increase in gun sales on the island, but he does believe it sends a very strong message to criminals. I do think this will definitely help to deter crime. For criminals to understand the fact that if they break into a house, the preponderance of guilt is on them now and if a, if a someone who lives there is defending themselves the fault will automatically go toward the criminal when they look at it that's certainly going to play in their mind of going does this house have somebody in it with a gun the measure has been forwarded to the governor for his review reporting for guam's news network i'm mindy Egan.